but finally stop ten minutes later. <laughs> so then, okay, so where can we sit down so we can talk a little bit more about it, right? So one human went and sat down on the couch at the end of the couch. <laughs> the rest of the humans sit down around this little table. <laughs> the last Saabso was right here. <laughs> this is all legal. So that's when I make the decision to train people so I can rehabilitate dogs. <laughs> I'm going I'm to show you how I grew up. So you see the invisible leash. This is how I grew up. The thing is I did wear clothes. <laughs> See, this is trust, respect, loyalty, it's an invisible leash, everybody is doing their own thing. Back in the farm, you know, we have to carry the water so we can bring it to the house. And as you see right now, people are having their meal, you know, and the dogs are around but not in the top of people. I don't know, if, I don't think that happens in, in Canada, but you know, in America, you can't go down with a sandwich without a dog. Thank you. You can't have a picnic around dogs in America. You have to hire a dog walker to have a picnic. Which is good for business, but you know, you can't bring the dog to it. As you see, the aborigines can have picnics, they can walk, they can do whatever they want. But the point is, the, the human loss is connection to nature or to the instinctual way. Right? So at one point, human being was connected to mother nature without the leash. Trust, respect, loyalty. So what happened to modern society? Why modern society lost this amazing connection? Right? After all, those in modern society have beds. Few beds, actually. One has this name, the other one has his nickname, just in case he forgot. 